Hi, we're back again today. We are together to talk about texture. So let's get going. Yes, we need to start with our art motto so we can get in the right frame of mind. So here we go. I will try my best, I will be creative, and I will problem solve. All right, now that our brains are ready, let's talk about this new thing that you may or may not have heard of called texture. What does that word texture mean? Well, you can see I've got my wiggle fingers together because texture is all about touch, 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 feeling, touch, touch, and how things feel or how they look like they would feel. There are two types of texture. One is real or actual texture, and that is how something actually feels. Like, for example, a soft flower, or a hard rock, or maybe even this bumpity, 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 bumpity Lego plate, or the texture of a blanket. So that is how something actually feels when we touch it. Touch, touch, and some artwork has actual texture. Then there's something called implied texture. That means we would draw it because we can't have actual texture on a drawing sometimes. So you would use line and shapes to create a texture or to show somebody what your artwork might feel like. So let's take a look at our project today so that you can learn a little bit more about Texture. Yes, let's say it again. Texture. Today in art, I can learn about texture. Create texture rubbings for a background and draw an owl with Mrs. Fred. This is gonna be a fun one. So collect some items from around your house that have texture. You can look at leaves, baskets. I've even done a football before. But go around your home and find items that you can feel their texture. Lay your paper over the top, and then begin coloring a background. Now, I practice with color, but now I'm going to use dark colors to represent a nighttime sky, because we need a place for our nocturnal owls to live. Make sure you're doing some overlapping. That means stack other textures on top of each other. This part of our project is to draw a little owl. Now you can draw an owl any way you like, or you can follow along with me. I'm drawing a fluffy baby owl. So you can see I've done kind of a circle with fluffy ruffly lines and two eyebrows. That's gonna give me the beginning of the eyes. If I do half circles underneath and fill that in with a little pupil, then I have what looks like a real owl. A little triangle curved for the nose. I like mine to be a little girly, so I added some eyelashes. And now you're gonna go and do the wings. Now watch me, it's just a diagonal line down and then up and back a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and keep that roughly zigzaggy line to show texture. That's what this is all about. So you're showing texture on your background, but we're also showing how fluffy our bird is by using certain lines. I'm using texture on the tummy to show that that has a fluffy belly. A few extra lines to make it look extra fluffy. And we have an owl. Now we're gonna 
cut out our owl, and then we're gonna puzzle piece this artwork together. I have scraps of paper left over from cutting out my owl, and I'm gonna turn that into a tree. Now when you puzzle piece all these little elements together, you create a composition, and that is a whole piece of artwork. Look at all the texture and what we've done today. Thank you.